welcome to my video on Armorfest. Armorfest, yeah, that's the Norfolk Tank Museum's annual event where you get to see a variety of things on display. And yes, that includes tanks, some of which I'd never seen running before, as that, such as that Centurion ABRE that you see in front of you. Armorfest is essentially, probably the best way to describe it would be a scaled down version of Tankfest but with plenty of rarities on display and a whole lot of stuff on show. Still, just like its bigger brother at Bovington, it was no lesser in quality and had plenty of heart and atmosphere, and as it is a more smaller scale event, you can get more hands-on, such as me climbing inside and around this Mark IV landship from the First World War. There was plenty to see and it comfortably takes a good day and a half to witness everything there and with their program running all throughout the day there is plenty to see and there's always live vehicles bombing it about in the arena just like you would see at Tankfest. Some of these vehicles were very exciting such as this early Chieftain variant, one without the Steel Blue armour which seems to be more of a rarity, it's always the Steel Blue ones that you end up seeing especially at Tankfest, so it's quite nice to see one without that. But there was also plenty of other vehicles, including this M4A4 Sherman, which is definitely a treat at any one of these displays. There was simply so much to see. I'm not sure if this just applies to me, but one of the things that always grabs my attention at these displays were the models and the dioramas. If only I had more money and if only more of them were on sale, some of these little dioramas were absolutely fantastic. And the level of detailing here, as you can see, is phenomenal. I mean, look at that. And there were all kinds of rarities on display. Some of them very niche, and that's all the better when you're like a serious, like, sort of collector and tank buff, and you're like, hang on, there's that. They actually have a model for that? It's just sort of kind of crazy stuff. There was a model of an FV4202. I mean, where else are you going to see an FV4202 tank model? Just as an example, there were all kinds of weird ones on display, um, and some of them had even gone the extra mile to replicate the finer details. These really served as an icing or just a cherry on top, while the main actual tanks were outside, as a lot of these were situated in the main hangar. Just an example is one of the uh, finer details that uh, had gone into some of these models. I mean, take a look at... Uh, Take a look at that, for example. It's the FV4005. Yes, the mighty 4005, but actually the one from Bovington with the little information panel in front of it, just like it would be at the real museum. As I mentioned, this was in the main hangar kind of area. It was kind of like an old barn sort of building, which is where the main museum normally is, which was cleared out for the weekend to get tanks like this chieftain up and running out in the arena. There is, uh, of course, the home of the Deborah II Mark IV female landship, which was also up and running for the weekend. Yes, a running World War I tank. And uh, when it wasn't running, you got to climb in and inside it and all around it, and it was just awesome. I mean, it doesn't get more hands-on than being inside a landship. There are other rare appearances, like this replica Stug 3G, which is always exciting. Even if it isn't quite a real Stug 3, it is still a very, very convincing, uh, you know, well, replica, obviously. And yes, that will be driving around in the arena later on in this video, so stay tuned, because I will be showing you some of these tanks I mentioned in just a moment but first let's take a look at some of the other stuff on display they'd really kind of you know pulled all the stocks out for this I, I don't I'm not gonna say I was uh, expecting something pretty small but it was definitely what I had in mind something a lot smaller than this and uh, you know I just consider it worth revisiting actually maybe I'll do a video on it next year as well just to see how it compares to this year because this year it feels like it would be pretty tough to beat with the uh, variety of stuff on display. Here is the Deborah 2 female landship that I mentioned earlier and yes you can actually go inside of this machine and it will be running later on so uh, you know 
that's cool. It wasn't just a museum exhibit. It was actually going to be running as a real female heavy tank from the First World War. And you could do all sorts of stuff. You could sit in all the seats. You could move the Lewis guns around. Uh, you know, have a fiddle with the turrets. Get a look at the engine. Sit in the driver's seat. And, of course, stick your head out the top. And if you don't mind my amateur camera filming, it's quite hard to climb around the land ship with one hand holding a phone. So, you know. But without further ado, I think it's about time we check out some of these tanks in the arena that I might have mentioned. Obviously these tanks are the highlight of the day, so I will try and keep the talking to a minimum so you get to hear the raw power of some of these behemoths driving around the, the arena. Even the uh, mighty chieftain with its not so great engine still sounded incredible, and it was nice to see a tank doing a display around the arena, especially one as old as this. It must have been like 50 years old, and it was able to fully turn the turret, raise the gun and so on. So. Uh, Yes, I'll stop talking now and let you enjoy the show. Unfortunately, these little tanks were not part of the main display, and I just happened to catch them driving around on one of the pathways, but still very cute indeed. And yes, that is all the footage I have. Unfortunately, you know me with these events, I am very un unprepared for these sorts of things, and I did not get to get more footage of the tanks driving around. But I did get to show you some of the highlights, especially that awesome chieftain bombing it around the arena like that in a very noisy fashion and I would consider it a very very good and successful day that I would recommend. I even got to meet Squire and Bill, yes that Squire and Bill, uh, if you're here for the War Thunder videos then you might recognize them and uh, it was completely by chance, there weren't, they weren't doing a meet and greet or you know they weren't hosting an event or something but I just completely randomly just happened to walk by them and was like, hang on, isn't that? <laughs> so, you know, there you go. But overall, very successful video, and that's all I've got for today. So if you like that video, do hit the like button, comment down below what you think of these, and what did you see that, uh, that you like the look of. And obviously subscribe for more content, and check out my other videos. We've uh, put out a couple the other day, uh, which do deserve some attention, especially the pain I went through getting that Air Arcade video together. But um, anyways, I will catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this.